each of his three seasons. Passes down low, and the Eastern Illinois Panthers are on the board first. It's Lariah Washington. Powell on Artifer. She drives. The three is good. Litweiler on the board. Sissoko makes a great turnover. She goes in to the paint, and that one's good. She's one of the best players for the Gophers last season in practice. She could practice with the team but didn't play. Steele kicks it out. Here's Artifer from three, and that one's good off the window. Sissoko looking to get rid of the basketball. Here's Powell from the corner, and she knocks it down. Gophers struggling on the floor so far from the field, just 4 of 12, but they do create a turnover here. Sissoko creates the turnover. Here's Powell working through the paint, and that one's off the glass and good. She wanted a foul, but didn't get one there. Jordan Hughes hits Lariah Washington in stride, and now she's the first player in double digits. Hughes guarding. Powell with the step back. And that one's off the mark, but Scania is going up and in. She's going to have the chance for a three-point play. Another rebound. That's her third of the ball game. In the corner, Litweiler is open, and she drills it. Six-point lead now for the Panthers. Lead back down to four with 3.15 remaining here in the second quarter. And the three is good from Carly Pace at the wing. Oh, she got a piece of that from up here, but great play defensively. Powell finds coming down low and the hook shot is good. Justice Ross on the wing. Washington on Powell in the corner. Sissoko from long range and that one's good. As a Golden Gopher basketball player. Abby Wall working in the paint. The Gophers create another turnover. Grace coming with the defense. Powell picks it up, and that one's off the window. Out. Powell collects her board. That's her second rebound of the ball game. Now she drives through the paint, and that one's up and in. Tie ball game. And the Gophers have their first lead of the ball game at 36-34. Turnover created. Justice Ross goes up and rolls it in for head coach Matt Boland's squad. Here's Jordan Pace working on Powell. She spins and gets it off the glass and in. Nice move by Jordan Pace. Now to Powell in the corner. She's driving baseline on Pace. Sissoko up and in. And Powell creates another turnover. She's got Hubbard on her right side. Powell to Hubbard. Hubbard off the glass and in. The Gophers with their biggest lead of the night. And Litweiler inbounding. It looked like Lariah Washington was there. Sissoko drives baseline, and she turns it over. Nice play by Kira Artifer. She kicks it up to Washington. And Jasmine Powell with the stuff coming back on defense. Justice Ross working. And Powell lets it fly. And that one's good. Eight to go on the shot clock here. Abby Wall working down low on Justice Ross, and she just makes it look easy right off the glass. Powell working. She makes a nice pass to see Soko, and she just makes it look easy in the paint. Powell thinks about it from the top of the key, but instead she drives the lane, and that one kisses off the window. On the other side is Lariah Washington, who's got 20. Only Abby Wall, the other player in double digits for the Panthers. Here's Washington again, just beating Sissoko. Four and five from the free throw line. Here's Washington working, Wall down low on coming. And again, Abby Wall has really started to get hot in this corner. Grace Cumming gets another offensive rebound for the Gophers. That is their 15th offensive board of the ball game. And now she's gonna try from three, and that's nothing but nets. Litweiler kicks it to Pace in the corner. She's going to try, and another three. Will probably drop to one and one. Just seven seconds to go in this ball game. Pace is going to try from deep, and she knocks it down. But the Golden Govers start off the season strong as they win 72-68 over Eastern Illinois.